Emma. Congratulations, Emma. You survived first semester. My name is Will Hanley, and I just have one semester left with all of you. And I'm Eliza Dewar. Did you know that second semester is actually longer than first semester? Wow, how interesting. Your random facts never fail to entertain me. You know, William, I actually missed your sarcasm. Thank you. I try. And don't call me William. <sighs> yeah, maybe you try a little bit too hard. This is barely news, everyone. Wow, already stealing my line. Great. As Emmy continues down the path to Common Core standardized testing, concerns continue to arise regarding the electronic nature of the new exams. Emmy will begin administering these tests in the next school year, but in the meantime, practice tests are available online. Well, I know what I will be doing in my free time. On Saturday, January 25th, the leadership class hosted a winter formal dance for the first time since 2012, as leadership cut last year's dance due to monetary losses in previous years. The leadership class is still working on counting the profits from this year's dance, but it looks promising. Now, personally, I thought the dance was lame. That's because nobody asked you to go with them, except me. Sadie Hawkins is stupid. Guys are supposed to ask girls, not the other way around. How noble of you, Will. And they say chivalry is dead. In any case, feminism. A student survey administered last semester by the MA Feminist Club revealed the dis a discrepancy between the treatment of boys and girls when violating the dress code. For a more detailed look, visit mabearnews.com. Two weeks ago, the Alliance for Climate Education and the MA Seeds Club gave a presentation about the various issues surrounding climate change. Students from several science classes attended the presentation, which featured a video and other graphic components. So always make sure to reduce Reuse and recycle. Wait, I, I don't even know what that means. Reduce what? MA teacher Ms. Bryan organized a group of MA students to attend an annual Black College Expo in Oakland on January 25th. The event featured booths with representatives from various historically black colleges across the nation, offering information about scholarships, financial aid, and career planning. The deadline has passed for seniors to vote on senior superlatives for the yearbook. Superlative categories expanded this year to include dubious honors like best person to be stuck on an island with and most likely to sell their car for gas money. We came up with a few of our own categories. Here's Sophia with the goods. There are a lot of new senior superlatives that have been added to the yearbook this year. In E20, we were so inspired, we decided to suggest a few of our own. Most likely to die in a hilarious way. Most likely to have this be the only thing they're ever voted for. Most likely to win a billion dollars on Shark Tank. Most likely to be a fifth year senior. Most likely to put their Candy Crush score on their resume. Most likely to become a social justice blogger. I'm most likely to live in their parents' basement. Most likely to show up to the 20th class reunion trashed. Most likely to abduct aliens. Most likely to live out a Cards Against Humanity hand. Most likely to become a cougar. Most likely to hunt a cougar. Most likely to, like, convert to Rastafarianism. Most likely to get an exorcism done on them. Most likely to legally attempt to marry themselves. Most likely to be mistaken as a shadow by a teacher. Most likely to become an absolute monarch. Most likely to win a hot dog eating contest. Most likely to sit in a tree so that no one will cut it down. Most likely to get a sex change, then change their mind and switch it back. Most likely to turn 18. Most likely to write a manifesto. Most likely to be a serial killer. Most average. If I were a senior, I would have voted for you for most likely to end up living in their parents' basement. Gee, thanks. Uh, in more school news, oh, come on, there's more, really? Uh, come on, Will, stay peppy. Stop having so much energy all the time. As I was saying before my co-anchor... So you acknowledge that we are equal? ...rudely interrupted me 
The girls' varsity soccer team faced its first loss of the season to Carmont on Tuesday, January 21st. The MA team currently holds third place in the league with the goal of moving into the second spot. Seriously, again with the puns. Beloved Spanish teacher Miss Osborne has returned to MA following a leave of absence. Students are happy to have the popular figure back on campus, but her temporary substitute, Mr. Cipriano, will be missed. After much debate, the Sequoia Union High School District Board of Trustees released a map of proposed changes to district boundary lines. The proposed changes shift students from Ravenswood and Las Lomitas to MA instead of dividing them between M.A., Carlmont, and Woodside. With these changes, M.A. is projected to host 2,643 students by 2020 when disregarding transfers in the two potential future small schools. M.A. will likely be hiring many new teachers in the not-so-distant future thanks to these changes, so we decided to see what students really think of current M.A. teachers based on submissions to RateMyTeacher.com. He broke my desk and my heart. Synergy is the man. Woohoo. I'd like to believe that one's real. Hey Perry, spelled wrong. I'm just writing you a review in hopes you friend me on Facebook. No, seriously, please, I promise not to poke you. No chance. This man turns yelling into an Olympic sport. Wait, this guy isn't a student. Suddenly this class makes so much more sense. Who says Christmas comes only once a year? In Mr. S's class, every day is Christmas. Or Hanukkah, if that's your deal. Whatever your preferred holiday, it happens all day, every day, in Mr. Senegalia's class. I can still remember the scream from Katie Bylon when he brought out the baseball bat. Every day is Hanukkah in my class, because I'm Jewish, actually. I thought I could get away with anything I wanted to just because of my physical superiority. I was immediately proven wrong. Watch out for the Iron Fist sophomores. He's the dictator of social studies. That one was written by Boone. Wait, he's married now? Ugh, what's the point of showing up anymore? <laughs> I think that's the real one. Mr. Amoroso, so clutch. Come on, this is a joke, right? He's definitely a stupid. The recurring theme here in these reviews. Wait, so most of them were actually fake. What is this? We're in the satire business, Eliza, and you're about to take over. You'd better get used to saying fake things. Oh, well, back to real news. A local branch of the Association of American University Women sponsored its 12th annual pro-choice march this year. Prior to the march through the streets of downtown Los Altos, the AAUW also hosted a rally at the Los Altos Youth Center featuring guest speakers who shared their opinions on women's health issues. On January 17th, California Governor Jerry Brown officially declared a state of drought emergency and requested that residents make the effort to reduce water use by 20%. However, Governor Brown stipulated that all efforts will be voluntary, not mandatory. With a tiny amount of rainfall gracing the Bay Area this past week, 17 California communities are due to run out of water in 60 to 120 days. A series of fires plagued the Bay Area in the past few weeks, including several in Redwood City and Palo Alto, with a suspected serial arsonist in San Jose. The drought has amplified concerns surrounding the fires. In his State of the County address on January 28th, Santa Clara County Board of Supervisors President John Wasserman outlined his goals for the 2014 cal calendar year. He emphasized safety, efficiency, and transparency regarding government affairs. Yeah, that's right. You better be transparent with me when I give you my precious tax dollars. Um, Will, you live in San Mateo County, not Santa Clara County? No, 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 no. I live in Menlo Park, which is... It's in San Mateo County. Uh, no, but I thought... Yep, yep. Uh, a man in Santa Cruz was found guilty of murdering his girlfriend, and later he... Wait, ew, what did he do to, his to her body? Ew. What did he do? No, tell I me. No, I don't want to t say it. It's nasty. Well, I'll just look it up for myself. I will tell you, you really do not want to know. Oh. There you go. Yeah. Oh. Well, while Will and I try to forget what we just learned, please enjoy our segment from our very own Josh and Danielle. So, so uh, hey, hot girl. How, how you doing? Want di to go to dinner? Just stop right there. Like, this, this is uncomfortable. What, you think you could do better than me? Heck yeah. All right, you want to... You want to take this? You want to take this out to MA? 
Now, if I had four quarters to give to the four prettiest girls in the world, you'd have a dollar right now. Aww. Marky Mark, are you the sign of pi over two? Because you're the one. I love you. So if I was the uh, endoplasmic reticulum, how would you choose to take me? Smooth or rough? I guess rough. Yo, Frack Hat, you're the enzyme to my active site. Let's catalyze this reaction. Was your dad in the Navy by any chance? Because go out with me? <laughs> Cheers to Amanda. Roses are red, violets are blue. I have a gun, get in the van. <laughs> so, uh, have you met me? No. Are you a beaver? I'm not. Because, damn, boy! What? Hey, were you talking to me? Uh, no. Do you want to be talking to me? Sure. So, baby, on a scale of one to America, how free are you tonight? Oh, that's pretty smooth. I don't know what to say. Um, <laughs> let's do North Korea. That's how free. Yikes. <laughs> hey, there's something wrong with my phone. It's just that your number isn't in it. <laughs> Well, Bears, we hope you enjoy your Valentine's Day with that special someone. But if you aren't romantically involved, for all intents and purposes, I'll be Ben. And I'll be Jerry. But if you're lactose intolerant, then sheesh, good luck with that. Yikes, that doesn't sound fun. Have a spectacular month, Bears.